everyone, and thanks for joining us. We've recently made some enhancements to our item browser filter within the construction pricing database, and we'd like to take a few moments to share some examples of it with you. Applying filters within the database can make it easier for you to navigate by helping you to narrow in on specific categories and items. Ultimately, this means you can find line items that are relevant to you and the type of work you're doing quickly and efficiently. So we've got our database open over here. We're starting in October 2019, and we see a list of these available categories. At the top of the database, we have a row of icons displayed. And the second one in, just to the right of the binoculars, is the filter icon. When we click the icon, it opens this panel over here, and we have two tabs displayed, claim filters and saved filters. Let's start by looking at claim filters. Claim filters will be applied to this claim and this claim only. Then within the claim filters tab, we have different groupings like severity, location, room type, etc. Let's say for this example, we're doing some cleaning. So we really only need to see the categories that contain items that are relevant to cleaning. This is where filters can come into play to help us. So let's go ahead and under the actions heading, we'll select clean. With the clean filter turned on, we'll notice that the number of categories displayed here has been dramatically reduced. The system is filtering out the unrelated categories, so we're only left with the categories that contain items relevant to this type of work. Because we don't have to sort through such a long list, we'll be able to find those cleaning items we need a lot more efficiently. We'll continue by going into the cleaning category and the bathroom and kitchen subcategory. Let's say we know we're only going to be doing work in a kitchen. Well, we can actually apply multiple filters at the same time. So let's go over here to room type and select the kitchen filter. Notice that all of the items that were related to showers and bathtubs are no longer being displayed. Now we only see a few line items that are applicable to cleaning kitchens. Looking at a filtered list is helping us tune out the items we don't need and really letting us focus on what's relevant to us. Now let's take a look back up here at the Claim Filters tab. Notice that it says two. The system is helping us keep track of how many filters we've selected. If we come down and deselect the kitchen filter, the list of items in the database grows and we now see things like shower door or bathtub. Because we're no longer restricting the database just to kitchen specific items, those bathroom related ones have returned and notice the number of filters which we've selected has changed from two down to one. Next, we'll switch over to the saved filters tab. Saved filters function similarly to claim filters, but with one big difference. Whatever you select here will be retained and can be applied to all your future claims. A really great option to explore here is top items used. This filter will show you the most popular items used across the board by all users. You can even combine this with, say, the residential filter, and the result of these two simple filters could make the overall database more manageable and easier to navigate for many users. One last note about saved filters. They can actually be pushed out on a company-wide level and can even be configured per assignment type. So for example, if we were to get a water mitigation assignment, when you open that claim, the mitigation filter could automatically be selected for you. If you'd like to use the saved filters this way, make sure you reach out to your Symbility account manager or the Symbility support team for additional assistance. So we've gone through a few examples and right now we're viewing a filtered database. Even if we close the panel by clicking the X up here, our filters are still being applied. See that it still says one claim filter and three saved filters applied. Right above that, there's this little lightning bolt symbol. This is a really important visual indicator to watch for because it's telling us that filters are currently being applied, which means we're not viewing the complete database. When we click the filter icon once more, it brings back the panel. Notice where it says apply filters. 
If there's a check mark here, filters are currently being applied. We'll click the box to remove the check mark and notice the lightning bolt is no longer displayed, which means we're back to viewing the complete database. Keep in mind, there's no right or wrong way to use these filters. It really depends on what's going to be relevant to you as the user and the type of work you're doing. What's important here is that you understand how the filters work so that you can take advantage of them when the need arises. Well, folks, we've seen how to use both claim filters and saved filters, and with these tools, we believe you'll be able to navigate the database with greater ease and be able to do your daily work more efficiently. If you have any questions or require additional assistance, please let us know. You can reach our support site by navigating to www.support that symbilityproperty.com to find the contact information that best suits your region. It's completely free to contact us and we encourage you to do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.